Hi, it's Veronica. In this tutorial I wanted to show you how I created this customized progress meter that I've got here above on my project. So we'll just go through it quickly to show you what it does. Hooray, we've got it correct. And you can see the tick appears there. If I get the next one incorrect, we'll do a test. And here I've got it incorrect, so you'll see that a little cross appears instead of the tick and it's just giving you a nice visual cue of how you're going in the in the course or in the quiz in this case. So I've got a tick and a cross and I could do the last one. So I'll just show you how I did that. So back in Storyline I'm going to go into my Slide Master because the progress bar is actually created in the Slide Master. As you can see this is not selectable here on the slide. It's all in the Master Slide which is great because it helps keep, keep things really nice and tidy. So what I've got is basically three shapes here that are my check boxes where the tick or the cross will appear and each of these I've created three states. A normal state, a tick state and a cross state as you can see down there and I did the same for, for each of these as you can see. The next thing I did was in my variables panel I created however many variables I have for, quest for the questions that I have. So I've created question 01 cross set to false, question 01 tick set to false and so on for the three questions that I have in this particular demo and they're all set to false. So to actually make these uh, boxes do what I want them to do based on the user's answer I've created some triggers. So basically my triggers are I want to change the state of tick 1 to tick because the initial state is normal which is just the tick check checkbox so I want to change the state of tick 1 to tick when the timeline starts on that object on the condition that tick question 01 tick is equal to true and I've done that trigger for the cross as well and I've done the same two triggers for each of my checkboxes or ticks or crosses. So back in the slide I'll just show you where I've triggered these. Um, in each question I've got uh, my base layer but then I've got three feedback layers, a correct one, a try again one and a not correct one. So I've placed a trigger on the correct layer. Here's my trigger there and it says adjust the variable question 01 tick to true when the user clicks the button submit because they are on the correct layer so I already know that they've answered the question correctly so that's going to trigger um, that tick. If they answer the question incorrectly on the incorrect layer down here I have the same trigger but for the variable question 01 cross so adjust the variable question 01 cross to a value of true when the user clicks the submit button because again they are on the incorrect layer and I already know that they've answered the question incorrectly so that's going to trigger the cross or the checkbox to turn into a cross and it's as easy as that. Enjoy!